hello friends uh, we are going to see about retaining wall design of retaining wall okay. so which is a new module in the subject advanced concrete design for be civil so first we'll see the definition of retaining wall retaining wall is a structure that are designed and constructed to withstand lateral pressure of soil or hold back soil materials actually uh, retaining wall is nothing but we can say as an vertical uh, component or vertical construction which is constructed for the retention of the material or liquid what whether it may be water or earth material okay so this is about retaining wall later we'll discuss about the uh, classification of retaining wall so before going to discuss about the classification of retaining wall there are n numbers of classification so out of those classifications we are going to discuss two classification so one is cantilever retaining wall so let's see the definition so cantilever retaining wall is nothing but wall are usually of reinforced the concrete and work on principles of leverage means all the components are acting as a cantilever so here uh, the definition says that all the components which are present in the cantilever retaining wall will behaves as an cantilever member so we'll discuss in the next slide so second classification of retaining wall is counterfort retaining wall let's see the definition what actually the counterfort retaining wall is so counterfort retaining wall is a cantilever wall with counterforts or buttresses which is attached to the inside face of the wall to further resist lateral thrust so here you can see the count definition of counterfort is nothing but a cantilever wall which is only uh, attached with the counterforts so it is same as an cantilever but an addition component which is there is counterfort so this is about the definitions of these two classifications of retaining wall in the next we'll see the components of retaining wall what are the components of retaining wall so first we'll see the components of cantilever retaining wall so this is the uh, cross section of cantilever retaining wall one by one we'll see the components so first this is stem the vertical projected component which is called as an stem wall uh, it is it, it can also be called as an wall second component is actually this is not a component but uh, to understand the behavior we have given the backfill side that is the earth material which is to be retained by the retaining wall is nothing but a backfill okay uh, next is hill slab hill slab is a projected slab uh, behind the stem okay so next is toe slab toe slab is also nothing but a projected slab next to the hill slab next to the uh, hill slab or opposite side to the hill slab okay so these are the components and one more component is there is shear key so shear key is the component which is provided below the base slab So what is base slab actually? Hill slab plus toe slab is equals to, you can say as it is base slab, which is the shear key is provided below the base slab. Okay, so these are all the components of the cantilever retaining wall. So as uh, you have seen the definition, so what actually they have written or we have written is, so all the components, component means what? Stem, toe slab, shear key, and hill slab all will behave as an cantilever member, which is fixed at one position. It is fixed at one position that's why it is called as an cantilever retaining wall that's why it is called as an cantilever retaining wall okay okay and one more thing i would like to tell you is so shear key is a component which we have provided here is not mandatory to be provided for the cantilever retaining wall it is to be provided when the sliding check is not safe if it is not safe against sliding then in that case only we need to provide the shear key or otherwise we can provide the retaining wall cantilever retaining wall without shear key also okay so next we'll discuss about the components of counterfort retaining wall so let's see 
what is actually the components are there so in the definition already we have discussed the same components will be there so here uh, this is the uh, image three dimensional image of counter code retaining wall so first uh, component is stem so it is similar to the uh, cantilever retaining wall again actually this is not a component but it is my it is required to be mentioned where the backfill side is there so this is the backfill next component is two slab again hill slab so here you can see uh, we have seen the three components stem two slab and hill slab what we can come to understand is all the three components are same as in cantilever retaining wall so one more addition component is there this is vertical member which is called as an counter fort okay so this vertical member which is provided here is called as an counter fort so to the cantilever retaining wall if we built or if we construct a vertical wall like this inclined vertical wall like this which is called as an counter fort that counter that retaining wall is called as an counter fort retaining wall okay so that's why this is called as an counter fort retaining wall which is provided by the counter forts okay so as we have discussed about the behavior of cantilever retaining wall similarly what how this uh, uh, counter fort retaining wall will behaves we'll see so here you can see the toe slab is projected further side okay it means it will behave as an cantilever only so same as cantilever retaining wall but other two components that is stem and hill slab which is connected with the uh, counter forts okay so again after some in some part of intervals the counter forts are to be provided uh, it means say 2 uh, 3 to 4 meters intervals we have to provide the counter forts 3 to 4 meter intervals we are going to provide the counter forts it is again depends upon the height of the retaining wall so here you can see the stem and hill slab will behave as an continuous slab the stem and hill slab we will behave as an continuous slab both the component stem and hill slab will be used as an continuous member so that's why this is to be distributed in one way distribution slab so this will behave as an one way continuous slab and hill slab will also behave as an one way continuous slab why because it is connected with the stem and the stem is under tension the due to the when the backfill pressure is applied on the wall the stem will come under pressure that pressure is nothing but a tension under the counter fort so counter fort is under tension okay so this is the behavior pattern of this or working pattern of this counter fort retaining wall this is the working behavior of the counter fort retaining wall so uh, one more difference or one more similar things uh, other one otherwise we can say also the difference that is uh, why when to provide the cantilever retaining wall when to provide the counter fort retaining wall generally cantilever retaining walls are constructed uh, at an height of 6 to 7 meter if the height of retaining wall is 6 to 7 meter we will prefer for cantilever retaining wall okay if the height exceeds 7 meter or 6 to 7 meter if it exceeds in that case we need to provide the counter fort retaining wall because it proves an economical it proves economical construction okay so this is the thing about this two classifications thank you